What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and to another top 10 greatest All Blacks of all time video. In today's video we we're talking about uh, not just a rugby player, we, we're, we're not even talking about a legend. This guy goes beyond legendary. Um, you ask anyone in world rugby, who's Colin Meads? Who is Colin Pinetree? Meads, and they'll be able to tell you. Colin Pinetree Meads was born Colin Earl Meads on the 3rd of June 1936 in Cambridge, New Zealand. He was listed at 1.92 metres tall, which is 6 foot 3.5 inches, 102 kilograms or 225 pounds, and came in at All Black number 583. During his time in the All Blacks, he played a total of 55 test matches, uh, which was part of a total of 133 actual games. So test matches are international tests that are counted against your record, against the, the nation's record. Other matches that he played for the All Blacks were possibly against provincial sides, possibly exhibition matches, what have you. He played a total of 133 matches back in the 50s and 60s, which is absolutely unheard of. Colin Meads played for the All Blacks from 1957 to 1971 and was named New Zealand's Player of the Century in 1999. Colin Meads is regarded as the best rugby player of all time, if not one of the best. If you're talking about influence on the game, if you're talking about a guy who came into the game and just was was not so much bigger than everyone else. Pine Tree was because he was tall, although there were quite a number of players who were his size at the time, but he had a motor on him. He could go and go and go, and he could do things that other people that size just couldn't. As well as being voted New Zealand's Player of the Century in 1999, he's also a member of both the Rugby, the World Rugby Hall of Fame, sorry, and the New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame. The International Rugby Hall of Fame considers him to have been the most famous forward in world rugby throughout the 1960s. And can you imagine, I mean, before the internet, planes have only just started, uh, this guy was a world superstar, Colin Pinetree Meads. Sadly, Colin Meads died on the 20th of August 2017 at the age of 81. He was buried in a place called Tequiti. I believe, don't quote me on that, it is a Māori name, it's in a place called Waikato in New Zealand, he was buried there, which was fitting because he'd played his entire provincial rugby career for that place. Not only did he play 133 games for the All Blacks, but he also played 138 provincial games throughout his career. I mean, I don't know where he found the time, but he did. That's over 250 first class rugby matches throughout his career. Colin Pinetree Meads will go down as an all-time great. It's sad to know that he won't be able to watch this 2019 World Cup, but it does bring great joy to me to know that he did see the All Blacks become the first ever nation to win back-to-back -back Rugby World Cups in both 2011 and 2015. Colin Pinetree Meads, I never got to see you play, but due to this absolutely amazing DVD that I've found. We do now. So everybody, sit back, relax, enjoy, get goosebumps like I did, possibly. If you're from New Zealand, there's no way you're not going to. This is Colin Pinetree Meads, the absolute legend of New Zealand rugby. Enjoy. Jones! Jinjan Brook, it's a third try for New Zealand. Here's Jonah Lomu, Lomu, unstoppable. Marvellous run and Colin for his third try. That is absolutely bewildering, magnificent spectacle. The All Blacks are more than just a rugby team. They are a worldwide symbol of excellence and sporting prowess. They have become the team that all the other rugby nations measure themselves against and are regarded year in, year out as the most consistent team in the world. In fact, 
the ultimate test team. Not only are they the leading point scorers of all time, but they are the only international rugby team with a winning record against every test nation they have ever played. New Zealand have held the top ranking in the world for longer than all the other countries combined. And in over 100 years, only five of the top 20 ranked rugby test nations have ever beaten them. And so our visitors make a real flying start, and it seems it will take an extra good side to beat them. Rugby, to a New Zealander, is more than just a sport. It is a measure of their national well-being. Here the New Zealanders watching it to Colin Meads from Tremaine. Beautifully back to Laidlaw, nicely out to Davis. This is the centre, playing at standoff. Magnificent run by Davis, can he get there? It's a try for Curtin. More than any other activity, it mirrors how the country sees itself. And for over a decade or more, one man came to epitomise that all-black spirit. And that one man was the legendary Colin Pinetree Meads. Beautiful ball. John. Barry John, Mike Gibson, will it stand up for him? No, it didn't. Colin Meads, the mighty man himself, Colin Meads. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece of play that by Meads, who checked his pass, waiting for his wing to run onto it. Hunter should have taken that one. Going gets the ball across. Not a good pass. Heroini, very good to pick it up. Obstructed in his way through as usual. Doug Rees collects. But Wills has him in... There's a chance for the All Blacks who can get the ball across and they can. And this is Meads going to score to put his side in the lead. A captain's try by eight points to six. There he is. The colossus of a man leading the All Blacks today. Colin Meads came from a traditional farming background. And throughout his life, he returned to working the land at his home on North Island. He was universally known as Pine Tree because, although physically he was no bigger than many of his teammates, he was the dominating figure in any team he played in. The archetypal, toughest teak, New Zealand second row. Watkins, caught. Here's the 25 yard line. Nathan, Smith, Tremaine. He first donned the famous black jersey in 1957 when he was selected for a tour of Australasia and from there became an almost permanent fixture in the All Black squad. Meads was part of a formidable forward pack including Kel Tremaine and Ken Gray. The All Black side was arguably at its peak in the mid-60s and in 1967 they famously remained undefeated on their tour of Britain and France under captain Brian Lahore. Meads got that ball nicely, Curtin took his eye off it. This is Rogers trying to give it to Taylor, but he hasn't. It's taken by Williams, here's this Wellington flanker. Almost up to the England 25, McRae joining in, number 13 dribbling on. And this is Meads up there as well, Williams is there, number 6, and it's a try for Dirk Whistle. A good heel against the head by McLeod, this is Laidlaw. Kick much too far. Wilson on his own 25. Doesn't find that. Brian Lafour. He's got the man outside him. There he is. It's Curtin. Tony Steele is going to score. It's a wonderful try. And the New Zealanders have saved their unbeaten record. By the end of his career, Meads had played 55 tests for the All Blacks. But despite his fame and legendary status in New Zealand, he remains much the same humble and straightforward character that first represented the All Blacks in the far-off amateur days of the 50s. And it's intercepted now by Colton, with Arnold inside him, and it must be a try if he turns his pass right. No, he's left it too late. Briscoe. Still they keep moving. Arnold again with another chance. John Graham. And heaven knows how many overlaps. And here goes Colin Meads, and will anybody stop him? No, he's there. What a try. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.